Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, I have a really cute card for you today. But before I get started with my card, I just want to let um, you know. And I, see, I don't like the shadow on my... I got a new desk. Well, I didn't get a new desk. I've been struggling with what to have underneath when I craft, right? And um, if you watch my videos, you know that underneath I have a nice granite countertop here that I stamp on but then it leaves such a glare so then I tried the poster boards under there to make it look you know to get rid of that glare and then every time your cat well my cat would come and lay on there and if he was wet which my cat is outside all the time he's always constantly dirty and gross but anyway he would lay on my cardboard or the yeah the like the poster board and then the poster board would be this warped nasty so I quit doing the poster board and I tried just using my ugly stamp mat and my, my stamp mat is so ugly I can't stand to watch it on the videos so then I watched a Connie Stewart's video and she went over her stamp room and she talked about some contact paper wood contact paper so I was excited it came in yesterday so now I have like a wood contact paper I'm trying to decide if I still get the glare I think it's gonna last a long time I think I can still wipe it down. Hopefully it's removable because if it's stuck to my granite, my husband's not going to be happy. Well, neither will I. But anyway, you'll have to let me know how my new work, sur or, yeah, work surface works. I think it looks pretty good. But anyway, back onto that. So then in all of that excitement, I just want to let you know that if you're a customer of mine, I finally got caught up sending out my trinkets and my thank you cards. Now in December, I really got thank or caught up. So hopefully, if you, like I said, are a customer of mine, you've been waiting on your trinkets, they're in the mail, I'm sure you've gotten them by now. I hope you've gotten them by now. And then yesterday, I got all caught up again, and I sent out trinkets for January. Now, if you're not familiar with trinkets, when you place a $50 order on my online store, and that's in products before shipping and tax, I send you a little what I call trinket. And then when you get 10 of them, you let me know and you get a $50 shopping spree on me. That's nothing to do with Stampin' Up. That's just a promotion that I do to show my thanks for, you know, how much I appreciate your orders and stuff. So watch the mail. In fact, I didn't get them out yesterday. I got them all prepared. They'll go out in the mail today. Now that's for a $50 order. And don't forget right now a celebration. So if you do place that $50 order, you also get something out of this catalog this is the celebration catalog so it's a great time to be ordering now my other promotion is um if you do go get your order up to 75 dollars i have i think i have four or five more of these bow makers so if you um get your order up to 75 dollars while they last i'll also send you one of my little um engraved bow makers so watch the mail i'm sending those out today too for all of you that placed an order in january this is just a celebration promotion i have going on i had a bunch of these made up for my team for christmas and then i had a few left over so i decided to give them to customers that place special orders so watch the mail those that go out in the mail today too if you ordered with me in january and then the last thing i got done was for my paper pumpkin customers Yay, I've really dropped the box lately. Dropped the box. <laughs> Get that? Dropped the ball with them lately. But watch the mail. I'm going to send you this cute little box that is an add-on. So you can add it on. This is the wrong paper. But you can get these to go along with this month's paper pumpkin kit. So if you're my paper pumpkin subscriber, watch the mail. I sent you a little box and you can make one with um, as a thank you for being my paper pumpkin subscriber. Also, Paper Pumpkin, if you um, order Paper Pumpkin, say you want to try it, you're not sure, you've never tried Paper Pumpkin, or you like Paper Pumpkin and you want free stuff, you can do a three-month prescription, or, yeah, subscription, and you get something free out of that celebration catalog. So just so you know, you'd have to do an online order. You order a three-month paid subscription, and you can pick a celebration item or more. If you order 12-month, you could have two. Okay, anyway, let's go on to our card. I did all my, got, let you know how much I appreciate y'all and I got all caught up. I was pretty proud of myself how much I got done yesterday. Okay, so here's my card today. And now yesterday as I was getting all that stuff done, I out of the corner of my eye I saw on Pinterest 
has someone. So I can't even give her credit or anything. So if it was you, please comment in the description below. But how they took this little otter and they stamped it on crumb cake and turned them two-tone. And I don't even know if that's how they did it, but I used the chalk marker like that. And so I'm going to show you how I did that. Now you know I like the little otter. Last time I did a card, I colored him with the blends. He ended up looking like this. So you could also just color him with the blends. I think this is the cinnamon cider. Well, I know this is the cinnamon cider blends. So he's a cute little guy. Um, lots of different ways that you can use them. So let's just show you another way today how I did this card. I have my supplies. I have my card base. This is just Poppy Parade, eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a fourth. Now I'm going to just take and fold along that score line. Some other paper here. I have a little bit of basic white and designer series paper. Now, if you, and I, I think I've been forgetting to say this, if you miss the sizes here, you can always go to my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com, and um, all the measurements will be on there and the supply list, so that helps too. All my videos are on there, because if you're watching on Facebook, then I post this on YouTube, so you could watch me there too. Um, but all my, all that's kind of like organized on my blog. But now I have a little bit of basic white. It's just an eighth of an inch bigger. So it's four and an eighth by three and an eighth. I'm gonna lay my designer series paper on there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down. And we have a nice healthy start to our card here. This designer series pa paper is called the Playful Patterns. It's a host set. So let me show you that because I think that's pretty, we haven't done that for a long time. We as in Stampin' Up and I, <laughs> but um, it's in the host rewards way back here in the back of the catalog here. So if you get your order up to $150, or if a few of you get together and accumulate an order to $150, this could be one of, one of your stamp rewards. So there you go. And I do love this designer series paper. I use it all the time. And it is called Pattern Party, because when I tell you I can't remember the name of that host paper, that's what it is, it's Pattern Party. All right, let's bring in my Stamparatus. I'm gonna need that for this card. And now if you watch my videos, you know I like to use, um, we're using rubber stamps, so I don't need the foam mat. And then I have just here, a, 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 let's talk, try to talk, grid paper for the Stamparatus. And I don't know if you notice here, but I have sticky um, grid sheets here. And I love them. So my magnet holds my grid paper, my, um, Sticky grid paper holds my cardstock. I'm going to just lay some cardstock on there. Bring in that awesome otter stamp set. Is that not cute? Now, I probably haven't mentioned, but this is also one of those celebration rewards. But really, you could use a bunch of different... I'm not going to put that away. Wait, I put my stamps away. But you could use this technique with a bunch of different stamp sets. It wouldn't have to be this stamp set here. But I got them all placed on my Stamparatus plate. Let's go ahead and ink him up. This is Memento ink. Although, since it's red rubber, this could be stays on too. But I think Memento ink's just a little bit more user friendly. So I'm gonna ink him up. Now I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna leave everything as is, just like that. I'm gonna bring in, this is Stampin' Up's chalk marker. And I'm gonna just color that little tummy of the otter. Now, you know, well, maybe you don't know, but coloring is not my favorite thing. Some people find it relaxing. I find it very tedious, I guess is the word. I'm not a very good color, but you know, sometimes with stamping, it has to be done. So, but this is gonna be a fast, easy way. You don't have to color the whole thing. We just have to get his tummy a little bit white there. And then I am gonna bring in a stamp and write marker here and this is the dark crumb cake and just put a little bit of color on his nose. Now, to be honest with you, I used the white chalk marker, but I should have tested out the colored pencils to see if that would work the same way. But then I'm going to go ahead and re-ink him. I think that he might be dry. He's dry enough for video. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp him again. And now look how nice he looks with that white tummy. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the birthday hat. 
And in fact, I'm gonna just bring in a little tiny piece of paper here. Let's see, we'll put it up here so it's out of the way of my otter. I just didn't want my otter to stamp on there. And then I'm gonna take that little birthday hat and place it on my cardstock here. Pick that up. And we're gonna do the same thing from him with him really quick. I'll just ink him up a little bit. Stamp that down. Let's color in that pom-pom. There we go. Dry a little bit. Let's ink it up again. And then stamp that down just so it looks nice and vibrant if you've colored on those lines or whatever. And look how cute that is. Now we have, whoops, we have our little hat too. So then to clean this, now I like to take my chamois and cut it down and I forgot to get them wet, so let's see what happens. You noticed I have a fancy little case. Now someone gave me this case with this paper in there. It was, well, in fact, I think it was Leanne, my friend from Canada. So I cut down my chamois and keep them in that little case. Although sometimes I just keep them in a little baggie. So this is my fancy one today with the fancy case. But look, you just take cut your chamois down to the size that's handleable, and this is the easiest way to clean those um, red rubber stamps. Now I could take that into the, well, whatever sink and just run it over some clear water that would rinse it off too. But the chamois, look how fast and easy that worked. Okay, so then these you would take and just fussy cut them out. And I've already done that just to make it so the video's not so long. And looky there, look how cute they are. So really, besides the fussy cutting, unless you're like me and I love to fussy cut, and I, if you watch my videos, you know I usually have my brother scan and cut do my fussy cutting. And I've noticed that since I've had him helping me, I'm not very good at fussy cutting. I used to be really good. It was like one of my favorite pastimes was just to fussy cut. And now I need to practice again because, well, I've gotten lazy. So this here is the little, um, it's time to celebrate part of the stamp set. I'm going to just bring in a scrap of... Um, Coastal Cabana, that's the same color that I did the hat. I'm gonna ink that up in this um, Memento ink and just stamp it down right here on my paper. Looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna bring in one of my favorite dies. You know how much this little die right here with the beautiful trees, you use it all the time. I don't even know why I put it away. I should just keep it out because this is one that I use like all the time. And we'll lay that on our mats, our plates here for our mini cut and emboss machine. I'm going to lay that down. I am going to grab some uh, washi tape just so I don't have to worry about it moving. And I need to get different washi tape. This washi tape is not user friendly on my desk. I need to go find, oh now he's cooperating. Usually I struggle to get him started, but maybe he knew. I don't know. There we go. So we're going to lay that there. Bring our little cut and emboss machine out here. Run that through. So there, now we have our little tag. We have our little otter here clean up a little bit and then I'm going to just take a scrap here of basic white and I'm going to just layer this wait wait I don't want to get any tape on my new surface so I'm going to use my silicone mat here and that way when I run my tape along the line if I miss it won't get on my work surface okay and then I'm going to just lay this down here in the corner with those two sides being about the border I want like that and then just with a pair of paper snips a quick little snip here and there we go look we have a little border 
for our tag. And now we need the inside of our card. So I decided that when I did this card here, I like these little um, stars here. And these stars are from the um, resin stars. This is part of the baseball suite. And now even me being a softball coach, and maybe because I'm a softball coach, the baseball suite was not interested. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if you have to be a softball player or a softball coach to understand that. But I really like these little resin stars. And look how cute they go on my card. So I decided I needed some kind of stars on the inside. I looked, I didn't find a stamp set that I had that had stars in it. But I did remember that this um, Give It A Whirl die set, this is huge. Let me show you this. And then it really that dawned on me that I haven't done a video with this die set. And look at this Look at all these dies, but they have these cute little stars in there. Let me show you what this die does. It goes like this. It makes a Viewmaster card. Is that not cute? So I'm going to work on getting a video ready to show you how to use these. But anyhow, I took these and I cut them out on a post-it note. I just laid them on a post-it note, ran it through my um, die cut machine, and now I have a stencil for those little stars. So I'm going to use that on the inside of my card. And now my post-it note is sticky everywhere. I don't know what they're called, but you know how usually they're only sticky at the top? I This one sticks everywhere. I'm gonna just take some Poppy Parade ink here and a little dauber, ink that up, and I'm gonna tap in here, making sure I get all those little nooks and crannies in the corners or the points, I guess, of the star. Now, if you don't like that tapping, how the tapping texture looks, you just take in here and rub a little bit. I'm just making sure I don't go off. But now I can have those little stars on the inside of my card. And usually for the insides of my cards, I don't like a lot of um, like height. I like it to be flat and that's why, because I could have just taken, now that I think about it, I could have just taken die cut these stars and um, taped them in there. But I like the effect, let's see how that looks, with them like that. Look how cute that is. And then with this happy of happiest of birthday stamp, I'm gonna take this, it's your day, enjoy it. Put that on the block, bring in that black memento. If he inked him up, yep, he looks pretty good. Ink him up good. And then just set him in the center of those stars. And I'm going to hold that in, let that ink sink in. But there we go. Look how cute the inside of my card is. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and just take him and put him on the inside. There we go. Take our little otter here, and I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of him. And then I'm going to take some mini dimensionals, and I happen to, I guess all I have here on my desk is black, but that doesn't matter. I'll put a little dimensional up here on his hat, and then one close or one closer to the hat, not all the way to the bottom, so we have a little space down there to add it to the otter's head. Get those backs off. I think I'm going to put him right there. Add my little hat. Right here, smack on top. Now I've noticed too that since I fussy cut him and I'm going to have to, or I'm going to cover up his head, it didn't matter if I cut his hair off or not because his little hair is really cute and sometimes. It's sad to give him a haircut like that, but he looks cute. And I don't know, maybe it's because when I was fussy cutting him, I gave him a haircut and I felt really bad. I like his little hair in the stamp set, but with the hat, if he can have a bad haircut and it doesn't matter. A couple dimensionals there on the back of my greeting here. The layers there, and we'll lay this. I'm going to put it in the center here. 
Is it straight? Yep, I think it looks pretty good. And then we'll bring that little resin stars in here. Dimensional backs are everywhere all the time. And I'm gonna put on this one, I think because I put two large ones on this one, one small, I'm gonna even things out and I'm gonna use one large one here and maybe put it there and then a couple little ones, maybe one. Mm, yep, we, oh, wait, that won't work, hold on. We gotta remove this one. So I'm gonna use my take a pick tool and I'm gonna take it over here to this end here and get up under that dimension or that bling, there we go. And I think I like it better down there. Yes, much better. So there you go. Oh, and then as usual, I always forget the last thing I wanna to add to my card is this little pom-pom on top. And now if you want the measurements, I have this bag of pom-poms. In fact, I have two different sizes. These are seven millimeter and these, I don't know what size these are, but they're a little bit smaller than this. So I'm assuming these are six millimeter but with a glue dot here, where'd my take a pick tool go now? I just had it, oh, I put him away. But I'm gonna grab that, now I need my poker thingy back. Cause I'm gonna grab a little glue dot here. And just put that, the top of the hat here and then put one of those little pom-poms on there. And looky there, and there you go. So now it's all finished. I remembered all my steps. Let me check my desk, make sure I've used everything I had out so I didn't forget anything. We have bling on there, we're good. We need to go along the score line one more time here. So he lays nice and flat. But there you go, so that's just another way you can do make your little otters two-toned and let me bring in those ones that I colored so you can see the difference. I was gonna say it's the same pack of paper, but it's different paper. This is that rainbow paper from the Celebration catalog. And like I said, this is that host designer series paper um, from the annual catalog. But lots of different things, lots of different ideas. If you're interested, let's go back to the beginning of the video. If you're interested in getting one of my bone, fo or bone folders, come on, Kathy, bow makers, all you have to do is place a $75 order um, using, here you go, February's host code. That would just help me out before shipping and tax, and I'll get you one in the mail. Don't forget, I'll send you the trinkets, and you can also get an um, item from the Celebration brochure. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you'll give the chalk marker a try. Again, if you need a list of supplies or the measurements, be sure and visit my blog be created with Kathy.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here on Monday. And Monday, cause remember I, we've, I've talked about a hundred times, I'm going to the shoe box swap on Sunday and I'll bring all those cards and show you the shoe box swap. And maybe I'll do that, world, give it a world die set for a Monday card. All right, enough chit chat, go and enjoy your day and I'll see you back here on Monday. Bye bye.